Hello and welcome to task 1.3 in our course where on this occasion we explore writing. So in the previous tasks, uh, first we took a look at literacy, uh, created our own concept around that, what that is, and also did a quick comparison between first language and second language literacy. In the previous task, we took a look at one of our main themes for this course, which is reading, and started to get into some of the theory or techniques and strategies regarding reading. On this occasion, we're going to take a look at the other theme of our topic, and that is going to be reading. I'm sorry, writing, not reading. Reading was the previous one. So writing. Uh, on this occasion, we want to take a look, like I said, at writing and just get an, a general understanding of the importance of writing. Now, curiously enough, to become literate, well, in, a, in any language, reading and writing are essential. Uh, if you don't read and write, you're not really literate in that language. Uh, however, and ironically enough, reading and writing activities or reading and writing skills are generally the ones we leave all the way to the end of our lesson plan and also dedicate the least amount of time to with our students. We generally focus on listening and speaking because, well, our students, they want to come to class because they want to be able to communicate, because they want to be able to go shopping, they want to be able to watch that movie and understand it or their favorite TV series and also understand that without always needing to read the subtitles. So generally, listening and speaking are pretty high up there, but reading and writing we dedicate the least amount of time to, and even more so, writing. Writing, we just complete the exercise and move on to the listening and speaking. So it's really important that before we get into any additional strategies, techniques, and so on for writing, we take a moment and reflect on why exactly it is important to write. What, why do we write? Why are why is it necessary for us to write? And maybe, at the same time, start looking at some of the models for writing. We have several approaches to writing. We will eventually get to those. But now, as part of your research that you may do on the web, uh, how can I write? What are the different strategies for writing? And then, by relating the importance of writing and then some of the techniques and strategies to be a good writer, and I, and I mean this in the very general sense for any person, not necessarily academic, and just in general, then that'll give us enough information to start forming an opinion on why it's important to write and why, as teachers, we actually do need to stop and dedicate sufficient time to writing practices and not just leave them by the wayside but actually help our students to become good writers in that second language, in that target language. And if you think about it, just to give you a, a bit of a premise here, we generally deal with, well, there are four skills, listening, speaking, reading, and writing. Well, generally, if we, are, if we get to be good writers, even if it's a very simple level, like uh, writing a, a grocery list, writing that simple email, writing a short letter to a friend or family member, if we can do that, then that means that, as a premise, uh, we have a good understanding of the grammar, we have a good understanding of the, the orthography of the language, and that in itself informs, internally I mean, the listening and the speaking, because we have a visualization of how the language looks in written form. If we're good readers, that also informs the listening and the speaking because you'll be able to, you, you know what the words look like. you just not listening to them, but you have a clear understanding and visualization of the words, the expressions, the sentences, and there's a reinforcement that's going on there by reading and writing. So when you're just listening and speaking, you start to get really good at that language. So there you go. That's just a quick premise. So, as always, below the video you'll find some complementary elements 
to help you expand your horizon regarding this topic, reading, getting an understanding of why reading is important. And also towards the end, you'll have the instructions for the delivery that you will be doing for this task. And towards the end, all the way to the bottom, you'll have the list of uh, the evaluation checklist and also how the numbers are distributed to add up your score for this task. So as always, uh, I'll be accompanying you. Uh, you can always reach me through a message uh, on Blackboard or you can always email me and I'm happy to reply and uh, provide any additional information or examples that you may require. Okie dokie then, let's get going. <laughs>